Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Let's see who's here. Tonight's live, I'm going to try to make it quick because I have um, more testing and y'all see I have on my T-shirt man Los shirt because today was day one of the reading test for my kids. And I like to try to wear some shirts that, you know, will motivate them. And so I wore this shirt today, but I'm tired y'all. And I thought I had everything. I'm going to show you guys what I have planned to do tonight, but we are going to do these graduation cap gift boxes. Super easy. If you have the Cricut Access membership, you can use what they have. That's what we're going to be using tonight. Creative Fabrica also has a, um, they also have a template too that you could use. But hey, y'all and welcome. Hey, Sandra. Welcome. Hey, T-Create. So it's going to be kind of like really laid back and we're probably going to be out of here really soon because these gift boxes are super easy to make. It's nothing, um, it's nothing too exhaustive. Let's say that. But y'all, uh oh, I gotta make sure. Allow. And I'm gonna just put this up here. But hey, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, I was looking for my glue, and so the project that I wanted to make, I wanted to make a um baseball cap gift box because y'all know it's Father's Day coming up. It's graduation season. So I wanted to kind of get some stuff in place for that. And I have a few seniors who I wanted to make like some gift boxes for. And so we were going to do the graduation cap toppers anyway, not toppers, the graduation cap gift boxes anyway. But I wanted to get the baseball cap gift boxes done but I don't even have all my glue and stuff and I'm I don't feel like making them a mess but hey y'all hey Dempsey Boo happy Tuesday happy Tuesday y'all and for my members uh I'm gonna put something out in the community to see what y'all doing this weekend maybe we can do a zoom or live we'll see but hey Tins hey Sezzy Mocha Crafts so yeah, what are you guys working on tonight? Me, I'm just, I'm going to show y'all this. And if you've never seen it before, but we are going to try to breeze through. Let me say hey to some more of y'all. And let me put this on here. Enter. Oh, my head. And I turned it down beforehand, y'all. I turn, I did turn it down. So let me remove that for now. But we, that's what we're going to make. We are going to be making this gift box and it's going to be pretty like usually it takes me a little bit because I kind of like the stuff to dry, but we're just going to run through this, make a cute little gift box, something and that one's not even even, but something that I can make to give to my students. Uh -oh. But yeah, what are you guys working on? I have nothing major. I wanted to, I'm going to show you guys what I wanted to make. Hey, Barb LaFond. Oh, it took me all the way down. It must have, like, just skipped me down. Hey, Tampa. Katrina. Hey, boo. What's up? How are you today? I'm a hot mess, but hey, girl. If y'all don't know Katrina, y'all should know Katrina. But head over if you don't. If this is your first time ever seeing her name, Click onto her her name or click out and just type in her name in the in the um, search engine and you will see all the amazing things that she's doing on her channel and her adorable son. Hey Nicole. Hey James, what's up? Hey Miss Tracy, happy Tuesday. So yeah, y'all, that's what we got going on today. Hey, Dorica. Hey, everybody. My, my thing is 
a hot mess. All right, y'all. So that's what we're going to do. Let me say some, let me see some more. Hey, Angel B. Hey, boo. But y'all, that's what I got going on. So I'm going to put something in the chat for the members to see if you guys want to get together and do something this weekend. Well, I don't know. Hey, Miss Sonia, I saw your uh, message um, on Facebook. So I don't know, but I'm going to send you a link, okay? But y'all, I'm scrolling down. It dropped all the way to... Hey, Eve. What are you doing here, Eve? Tuesday's your busy night. What are you... You got things You got things going on on Tuesday. But hey, boo, it's always an honor to have you here. Y'all, if I missed you, y'all know how I, I start to get with my anxiety. So I'm just like scrolling down, scrolling down. So... Y'all, I started diamond painting and I absolutely love diamond painting. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, it's very relaxing. At least I think it's relaxing. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all my diamond painting before we get into this. That's what I wanted to do tonight, but I think next week, Tuesday, we're gonna do uh, a whipping chat. And then Eve and I are going to do a diamond painting together. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Hey, Bar Miss Barbara. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Dips is like, yes, your members mm -hmm. want to get together. I want to get together. Y'all know I live a very boring situation. So let me show y'all this diamond painting really quick. And then we are going to get together. So all of you have been giving me really, really good suggestions and really good tips. And I appreciate y'all. Somebody told me to send this back. And so I am going to send this back. Um, hey, Stacy, MC from KC. Girl, let me tell you, I love that tea. I love the tea that you sent to me. I have the tea and the candle. You were here. I was talking about that tea the other night. So I was talking about that tea the other night, and I love the tea. But y'all, look at my diamond painting. I need to switch. Let me switch the screen. Uh-oh. I'm about to remove myself. Hold on. All right. Let me show y'all this diamond painting real quick and then we are going to try to start something but y'all of course it's gonna act up i don't know this always happens to me nonetheless oh there it goes all right so y'all look and so it's only the black like i i did the black but i did this here, and Teresa, girl, you are so clutch because I had no idea that that tool could pick up four of the diamond drills at once. So that, y'all, oh, but y'all look, I know you guys see like the sparkle of some of those stones that are already there or the diamond drills that are already in there. So I'm absolutely enjoying doing this. I wanted to do this tonight with y'all. But I just said that um, I'll probably do it next week unless y'all want to do this. And then I will kick these graduation um, gift boxes to the curb. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. But somebody told me to, who told me to get rid of this? You guys have been so good to me. But that has to go. But I've been using it as like a, a little weight. Paperweight. But we're going to just go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to scroll up while it's cutting. It shouldn't take that long for this to cut because there's only two pieces of um, there's only two pieces of cardstock that we have to cut. Hey, Miss Rosalind. Happy Tuesday. And y'all, it's really easy, but I don't have my um, I don't even have my glue. Like y'all going to be like, girl, a hot mess tonight and i'm gonna be like yes i am in the chat if you want to complete a similar project i do have a link and if you don't have a cricket or you don't have cricket access or um you know you use another cutter i do have a link to a similar project with a creative fabrica and it's listed in the description hey meanie hey all y'all fabulosis Tammy, 
I do like an MC from KC. Thank you so much. Y'all, MC from KC sent me, y'all know how I be tired all the time. And she sent me some tea. It's very, very relaxing. Um, and she sent me a candle. So thank you. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. I'm going to switch over to Cricut so that you guys could see what it is that we are going to be doing. We are not going to be here all night. This is not, at first I was going to do, okay, so y'all had so many things that I was going to do tonight, but tonight is not the night for that. So let me share my screen. And now we're inside of Cricut. Y'all all know what Cricut design space looks like. And tonight we are going to do um, a graduation cap gift box. Now I wanted to kind of cover graduation and Father's Day all tonight, like with these gift boxes, but I cannot find my glue and I have not done a paper project in so long. Like it's been a while. I used to do um, a lot of cake toppers, but I have not done a paper project in a long, long time. And so I have no idea where I stored uh, my glue. And the glue that I'm going to be using is actually a glue. Like I just picked, it's an Elaine's glue. It's a clear tacky glue. I don't even know where the top is for this. I had to cut it off to use it. <laughs> but we are just going to be using this to try to put this together. I prefer like uh, fast drying glues with these projects because um, there's a lot of manipulation with them. Like you have to bend and all that. And so it's not ideal to, you know, have glue that stays gluey for too long. All right, so this is what we this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a baseball cap gift box with y'all tonight and to show y'all different ways of how to do that. Like you can print out me I have the Epson Eagle Tank 15000 and I use that for uh printing regular uh, things. And so you can actually print onto white cardstock if you want to create a pattern for your hat, um, you can create so many different things. I've seen several people do the baseball cap. The Best Uni has done the baseball cap in various different ways. I think she did a memorial baseball cap. I saw Shanita Nicole do a baseball cap, do Dream On. Um, but the, it's it's been a while for a very, very long time. But if you are interested and this is your first time seeing this, Cricut does have um, a file. If you have the all access plan, you can go ahead and use it at your leisure. But they also give step by step directions of how and some visuals of how to, I guess, fold it and how to put it together and that sort of thing. All right. So we'll tell you that. And then once you go into it, all you have to do is, is cut it. So if you're here and you click make it, on your screen, it's gonna take you directly to the area for you to begin cutting. It's gonna take you to your your cart, your mats. All right, so we're not gonna be doing this today. We may do this um, another time. Let me see what you guys say. Do you guys wanna do this together? Maybe I could, uh, one night we can make a baseball cap gift boxes and we can, um, do it together. I'll put a link. If you don't have the Cricut Access, you can also do this. Uh, Creative Fabrica has a a file that you could use also. Hey, Delanda. Yo, I feel so special tonight. All y'all have came by and said, hey, hey, y'all. So let me know if that's something y'all want to do together or no, but we are going to be focusing on this graduation cap gift box. And this is what we're gonna be making. We are just gonna go ahead and click make it. Um, we're gonna use the size that Cricut has. Now you can, hold on, I can't see that. Uh-oh, why did it go out on me? Let's see. All right, so if you click customize, you can customize it. You can you can resize it. But if you're going to resize these, you want to make sure you have everything selected and then resize it so that everything stays proportionate. All right, but we're not going to be doing that today. We're just going to click make it. And then 
we're going to start cutting and then I'm going to head back over to the chat and just chat with y'all. So if y'all have any questions or anything about anything, just let me know. But I do plan on making these as uh, gift boxes and placing gifts inside of them for some of my seniors. And we are going to be using it on the map. No, I don't want to use that. So I'm going to say card mat. I meant to say on the mat. We don't want to use it on the card mat. <laughs> we don't want to use it on the card mat. Oh, I forgot that that was there. All right. So as you guys see, it's going to take two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock paper. And then this little piece, uh, we're going to print that out on a glitter piece of cardstock. For this one, we're going to be doing three different functions um, with our Cricut Maker. So we'll look at three different tools that you could use with it. We're going to be scoring um, the cardstock. We're also going to be using a pen. And then we're also going to use our regular fine point blade. And yeah. the other one, I wanted to use the, I wanted to do the baseball cap because with the pen, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. And with the pen, um, with that particular file, it creates like the stitches, both stitches, but it creates like stitches. All right, and let me get started. And then we're just gonna do medium cardstock. And now we're gonna head back over to the machine. Let me stop sharing. And so today, as you guys see, we're going to be using a single scoring wheel. We're going to be using a pen. And um, if you don't have the single scoring wheel, I'll show you guys. I know we've talked about it before, but I will show you all. Let me stop screen sharing, though. Stop screen share. All right. Oh. Hey, Taryn. Hey, everybody. Hey, Patrice. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And so this is what I was talking about when I was saying that, uh oh, I'm putting it back too far. All right. So there we go. I think that may be a little bit better. Not that straight, but all right. So this is what I was saying. So this is the scoring wheel. And as you guys see, the scoring wheel, what it does is it makes a dent inside of the cardstock. So it's perfect for if you need to fold parts of your project. And so it scores it for you. So this is the scoring wheel, but there's also a scoring stylus. All right, and so the scoring stylus looks like this. Both of these pretty much do the same job. So if I didn't have this, I could use the scoring stylus. And if I didn't have the scoring stylus, I could use the scoring wheel. All right. So that's the purpose for both of these Cricut tools is to create a score line in your, your project. Now, a lot of times when you upload uh, designs that are not Cricut-based designs and the designs call for score lines, most of the times they don't come over as a score line they come over as just regular cut lines you have to change it to a score line if it's a design that you got from maybe etsy or or creative fabrica or places like that okay sometimes you have to change it so we're just going to change this and then also we need to have a oh i don't even know what is going on also we have a pen we're going to be using the pen and so i don't know about you guys you don't have to put your top on the top but i always lose the tops to my pens so when i'm getting ready to start the project or to put it inside of slot a i always just put the top back on it so i don't lose it because if not i would lose it all right and so we have that we are going to be using the fine point blade but with when you're doing multiple um functions with one project it will it will give you the list of of steps to take so when it's done scoring 
and drawing, we are then going to put in the fine point blade. Let me head back over to Cricut and then I'm going to come and chat with y'all. I'm going to scroll back up to see what y'all got going on. And so for most of my paper projects, I use the, um, the light grip mat. That one works perfectly fine for me. And so we are going to put this on here. I'm just putting this on. You guys can't see me right now because I'm putting the mat. Oh, here's my brayer. And I'm just putting the cardstock on the light grip mat. And if you are here, it's your first time. Thank you for being here. If you want to complete a similar project, I told everybody before, underneath um, or in the description, I do have a link to a similar file on Creative Fabrica. All right. So if you are interested in that, you may want to. Uh oh, I forgot to pull it back out. All right, so as it cuts, I'm sure you guys don't really care to see it, like cut and score and all that stuff. And this is not going to take a long time. Like I told you guys, it's time to press play. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And then our pen is going to be writing. All right, let me get out of here. Y'all, so I had a major ink. Well, not really. It was major. So I had a major ink spill with my DTF ink, and that ink was going all over the place, y'all. Hold on, let me stop sharing this screen. That ink was going all over the place, y'all, and it got everywhere. Y'all know what is a magic solution to removing ink, or at least that ink? Windex. That Windex took all the ink off of the cracks and crevices of my nails and my hands. I don't know how safe it is, but it did remove all of that. It removed all of that ink, and it was black ink. All right, so it just did one line, and so now it's time for us to. It already scored. It scored here, and then it drew. And you guys probably can't see it, but I can see with this silver pen, it drew um, a hexagon there. So. Now I am going to remove the scoring wheel and then I am going to replace that fine point blade and we are ready to start that. that wheel. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're here with us. I'm glad. Because I really, tonight I was like, oh, I want to do the whip and chat, but no. Not tonight. Not y'all. I'm, I'm I'm still resting, so I have been getting a little more rest. And I slept last night. I went to bed about nine o'clock last night, and I slept until about four. And that's like the most hours I've gotten in a long time. And so I do want to try to get to bed a little early tonight. Yeah. So let me see what else. What you guys are saying? Oh, Eve, I cannot wait for us to do diamond painting together. I cannot wait for us to do diamond painting together. I'm really excited about it. And I know I'm, I'm super excited to be doing it. And I really didn't think that I was going to be that thrilled about it, but I love it. And it is relaxing. I'm buffering. Oh, great. What's new? What's new, Dense? What's, what's new? So I'm scrolling up to see anybody that I missed because I can't. Oh. Oh, this is not going to take that long to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the. I'm going to try not to rush because, you know, when you rush, nothing goes how you plan it to. And we're going to just glue this together and chit chat for us a little bit. But Barb, if I didn't say hey to you, hey Barb. Hope I did. Hey Anita, if you're still here. Hey Linda. Y'all. That's all we got going on. 
nothing super super major going on over here and also Rika. hey wanda and rosetta if you guys are still here but that's all we're doing we're gonna make this graduation cap and if you guys say i'm gonna see if you guys want to do that but i know friday i think friday we're gonna do something else i know we're not gonna do the caps on friday but father's day is coming up so what do you guys have planned for father's day or graduation are you making anything special i have a few more um graduation orders like i have some shirts that i need to make for my cousin and i'm probably gonna do like a a random live and design it with y'all because a lot of people were asking like how did i do that design for my other cousin who graduated college this cousin is graduating from um high school and she lives in south carolina but i have to make the same package that i made for my other cousin so we got to make um i got to make shirts and I gotta do this probably with like within the week. I gotta make shirts, I gotta make um, the paddles, the Dollar Tree paddles, I gotta make magnets, and I gotta see what else I gotta make. But that's what we we got planned to do. So let me know if y'all care about that. If not, I will make that in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. If not, I will wait for y'all to make it and we'll make it together. And then you guys will see. Usually for most of my designs, I do it inside of Adobe Illustrator. Oh, God, I forgot to put the scoring wheel in. I'm going to have to. What I like about the machine is that I forgot to put the scoring wheel in, and the scoring wheel needs to be in first. The machine should tell me. It did not tell me, y'all. It did not tell me that the scoring wheel is not there, but it should. It usually does. And then it says that it's loaded. So it should it should have been able to tell that it wasn't in there. I don't know what's going on with Alfie. But let's see. Because that's the first thing that should be in there. Let's make sure. Oh, and I need to take that pen out. Because y'all, my pen, I'm always drawing the pen out. Let's see. All right, remove. Who did I miss so far? Hey, Sherry and Taisha and Beverly. Angel, what are you working on tonight? Oh, maybe. I'd like to say, why did it not um, recognize that I did not put in those score lines or the, the scoring wheel? Hey, Joanne. Crafting away. I saw Miss Sonia. Hey, Up Designs. But y'all, that's what I got going on today. But testing, testing is fine. It's not that bad. I just feel it's for the kids, it's a lot. But I know, they make us test. Hey, Chanel. That, they make us test, and so that's what we have to do. I think I said hi to most of y'all. Hey, Jesse. But y'all. I don't know. All right, so this, okay, so now I got to take out the the same thing. I'm not going to switch over because it's really me just taking out the scoring wheel and putting in the fine point blade. And we have one more cut after that. We're going to put this together and then y'all, that's it. And I might pull out this um, diamond painting and paint a little bit with y'all. Right, there I go. I might, I might, I might. And then I'm going to put, for everybody, if you are a member, you just came in, I'm going to put a poll in the uh, community section just to see what y'all looking like for this weekend so that we can hang out. We have not gotten together in a minute. Hey, Mary Brown. So, yeah. All right. All right, I'm scrolling down, y'all. It's just... Oh my goodness. <laughs> she busy, huh? 
Then she's she's busy. She's really busy. Hey Kim, welcome. So yeah, Delanda, you going live this week? If you're still here, if you are, were you going live? I think Angel's going live tomorrow night, and then hey Eastu, how have you been Eastu? But yeah, y'all. I can't even keep up. I'm about to scroll down. Y'all know, y'all know my anxiety. I'm asking my questions and I can't even see them. So yeah, no. So waiting for the poor guy. All right, so we're done with this. And then now I'm just gonna put in the glitter final. It's the way I got these lights set up tonight. That's the Karen, that's why. I would say it's because of the diamond painting and all the bling that I'm into these days, but it's a light. <laughs> it's, it's a light. It's keeping me awake, y'all. It's keeping me up. Usually I need I need something to help me sleep, but not lately. Lately, whew, I don't need any help with sleep. Let's see. Oh, cool. All right, we'll see you Thursday. We will definitely see you Thursday. I'm just taking these off, y'all. I'm just taking them off. Just taking them off. I'm working on my... Dems is working on her craft house. Awesome. I need a new craft space. That's what I need. I definitely need a new craft space. Should not have pulled that off. Y'all do not pull. This is what happens when you pull your cardstock off. You really are supposed to kind of like take it off or get your spatula. And I have one sitting right here, but don't pull it off because when you pull, it curves your material. And you don't really want that. So I'm just gonna roll this off and see now came out perfect. I don't plan to go live. Oh, Delanda. All right, honey. Don't go live. If you don't if you don't have plans on going live this week, girl, we will be here when you do have plans. We will be here when you have plans. Are you guys testing? Okay, so I know there's a lot of teachers here. So are you guys testing too? Like, is this your test, like, major testing? Because I teach high school. Last week we did biology. This week we're testing um, ELA. And then next week is going to be math EOCs. So that's what we got going on. A lot of testing. Hold on, let me. I got to switch this up. Glitter, cardstock. Glitter. the phone glitter card stock all right sorry y'all i'm inside a cricut design space and i'm trying to cut out this glitter card stock that i barely put on here good but okay i meant to take that out okay. i did i got a little bit of sleep Last night I did, so I'm looking forward to getting some sleep tonight. So I'm gonna try to make this fast. Hey, Harris family. I, I know you're testing, you're in my location, you're in my area. Ugh. You're testing. Yes, Tammy. So Tammy has her AP testing going on a lot, a lot, a lot. Barbara Bonaparte. <laughs> the Lund, I don't know why. You are amazing, girl. All right. So we're done. I'm going to switch to the overhead. I'm going to move Alfie out of the way. Or just maybe just move Alfie to the back. And then we are going to put this gift box hat together. 
because y'all look how cute it is and this is on Cricut but inside of the description if you want to do one of these I have a link to one for Creative Fabrica um if you are interested if you have the all access plan it's already included if not then you know I don't know how much it is without the all access plan but it's not gonna be that much it's never really that much if you want to look at design bundles design bundles probably has a similar um situation too but i am going to add this to the stream we are going to oh look y'all i'm about to try to close this and forgot to take my my pen out i always do that i'm not gonna tell you guys how many times i leave the pen in because usually i don't I don't really move the stuff. Like I kind of like to leave it where it's at. But since I'm on with y'all, I need to move it. So, all right. So we are going to do the graduation. Not a, we're gonna do the baseball cap another day. Let me see if somebody wants to do it with me. If you guys do. We'll see. We will see. I'm going to move this over. And, oh, still have to my silicone mat. And I don't see it, and I don't have time to really look for it right now. So, that's all good. All right. Let's put this together, y'all. We have a lot of paper going on, a lot of paper. And so again, I'm using this tacky glue. This is not the ideal glue, y'all. I don't know where any of my glue is. I have not done, if it's not wood glue, I don't know where it's at. Or for the acrylic um, pieces, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. And I've looked everywhere. So at first I was thinking that Taylor got me for some of my glue, but she hasn't really been making much lately. So I don't know. We'll see. So we are going to do the bottom. And I think that's the piece for the bottom. And we are going to, hold on, let me see. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. If you guys like these types of projects too, let me know. If you do, I will definitely try to do more of these types of projects. Um, again, this wasn't the original plan. The original plan was to do the baseball cap gift box, but I don't have all the proper pieces or the proper materials. So you kind of stuck doing this. Okay, sorry, y'all. But thanks everybody for being here. Well, hey Stella, welcome and thank you for being here with us tonight. My niece. Oh, and I got a graduation cap to make too. Miss Joanne, you just remind me. So this is just the uh, graduation cap gift box. But the graduation cap, like y'all, you can really do something. So this is gonna be the top of the graduation cap. So you guys know how like, a lot of graduates now, they decorate the top of their graduation caps. So if you wanted to get kind of fancy with it, you could definitely customize the top of it. You could maybe make an inset of the, the top and decorate it however you'd like. So there are some things that you could, could do with it. Just to jazz it up a bit. But we are going to start with this and so I don't know if you guys can tell. So this is what the score, that scoring wheel does. It puts a line in your, your cardstock. And so there's a score line here. And there's also a score line there because we are going to be bending this back. And then we're going to be placing it around the bottom. And so it just makes it easy for you to bend it and to know exactly where you're gonna bend it. So that's what a score line does. A score line scores your paper, creates a crease or a crease line for you to be able to bend it in case you didn't, didn't know. I know most of you guys are professional crafters and y'all look 
you'll see them like picking up flock, rhinestone flock from everywhere. So these are the pieces that goes with this. Let me make sure I have the right pieces that go with this one because I may have the, that may be the bigger pieces. I think this goes here. The bigger pieces go here with the other. So these go here, if I remember correctly. I think they do. All right, so we are just going to keep bending the sides and I'm gonna read the chat. Hey, Sharon. Sharon, how's vacation going? Uh-oh. How is vacation going, girl? Y'all, I don't remember what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out. So you fold it this way, it's gonna actually go underneath here like this. I'll put my face on the wrong way. And then we're gonna fold it and we're gonna put them all around, around here. Cause this is actually going to be the top, all right? So I am just going to keep doing that. Hey, Christine, welcome. I folded this way, y'all. I really need to go to bed. Welcome, Christine. Marissa, I don't know if I saw you earlier, but hey, Marissa, hey, unbiased. So I am just folding these on the crease lines. And then as we do it, then we're going to glue it. And I'm because I'm using this glue, I'm just gonna put like a few dots Usually at some point, like I like for it to dry a bit before I like keep moving it, but we we have things to do tonight, like sleep. So that's not gonna be possible. So then we're just gonna put this here. And again, this is the Cricut file, y'all. I usually like to have my silicone um, mat underneath but it's okay and this is not my regular glue so i wouldn't really recommend this glue use another paper glue or you can use double-sided uh tape like the thin you want to get the thin this is kind of too i was going to try to use my atg with it but it's it's yeah no okay, let me see all right, so now I'm gonna glue this one here too. And then it's just gonna keep going around like that. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's just gonna keep, that's what we're gonna create. And this is the top. <clears throat> I think I'm getting a cold. I wasn't feeling that good at school. Not too bad, but, uh-oh, I meant to glue the sides. So as I'm doing this, because I'm using this one, I don't, this doesn't dry that fast. So I'm just kind of pressing in, like just to press it. And you want to make sure you have it kind of lined up good because then you're going to glue that together. So then that's going to be glued like that. So here, I'm just going to push that down. Uh oh, let me go up. We're making, this is what we're making tonight, Sharon. So we're just making a graduation cap gift box. That's it. This looks a little funky because I pushed it. It wasn't dry. Thank you, Unbiased. Thank you. I'm biased. I watched your video the other night when you added that table. I was on there, but I just been like, y'all just been tired and just chilling. But I have been seeing what y'all been doing. I watched when you added your, um, your, that, ex I guess that was an extended table that you added to the, to your embroidery machine. Girl, you been working. All right, so this is why I don't really like this one because this glue, because it doesn't dry quick. So I'm just going to have to hold it for a little bit. Yay. 
Congratulations, Harry's family. Congratulations. Sharon, when you come back from vacation, like how long is your vacation? I need a vacation, y'all. I do. All right, let's see. So we're gonna pull this one down to yes. We're gonna fold this down and then I'm gonna keep going around like this. So we're just gonna do the same thing until all sides meet, okay? But if you do this, don't this. I wouldn't recommend this glue. This is actually the only glue that I could find besides wood glue and my star bond. And the star bond is not for this type of project. Oh, Harris family, you're so right, girl. You are so right. Vacations soon come, like they can't come fast enough. It is not coming fast enough. And then I agreed to do summer school, so y'all know. But yeah, I'll be doing summer school. The kiddos. All right, so I'm pushing this down. I'm just going to keep going. Kirsten, hey, boo, where you been? How you been feeling? Have you been feeling okay? All right, y'all. So now I'm just going to push this together. See, with this, because it doesn't dry, as I move it, the other part comes apart. Hot water, ginger, garlic, tomorrow. Oh, wait, hold on. Somebody just gave me a recipe. <laughs> Don't let me go back up and see. Hey, dual sticks. I remember you some honey and sugar. Thank you. Well, Sharon, enjoy your vacation, girl. You didn't come back down here, did you? Did you go someplace or you just you you doing a staycation situation? What are you doing? All right, y'all. So I'm just making sure everything is tight before I move on because this takes a while to dry. Takes a while to try. I know Harris family, which which is gonna be your first project? Like what you go are you are you making some graduation shirts? It is graduation season. I have tons of I have shirts to make. I have I got a lot of stuff to do, y'all. A lot. Oh, what? We're gonna get that done. We are going to get it done. Go down. See, let's see. Thanks, Dempsey Bo. All right. So, uh oh. But yeah, I really want to do that other one, but y'all, I need to, I need to find my glue or go buy some more glue that was the original plan but this is a great um idea for graduation and you can resize it in Cricut you can resize it um but you have to make sure you have everything selected before you resize it if not your pieces are not going to be even but if you were here and you saw I did not um I did not even go into the canvas. I went straight from the project screen and I clicked make it. So this is the default size. This is the default size, y'all. All right, so, so far this is what, what we have. This is what it's looking like. And I'm being brave by turning it around, but no, I think we're going to be done in a, in less than 30 minutes. I think we're going to be done. Should I make some pink shirts? Cool. Cool. 
and they're gonna love it. Which one did you get? Which DTF printer did you get, Harris family? Which one? I may be getting another one. I don't know yet. But possibly I'm gonna get another one. Uh oh. This I did not group one part of the song right. You can see it. See how this one is, y'all? I need to move it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So you could even put, like, let's say you had like a logo or a high school logo or college, depending on who you're going to be giving this to. You could put that on here. You can cut out, if you can find an SVG of the logo, you can cut it and put it on here as part of the decoration. You can do different things. All right, so we got one more piece left. Believe it or not, y'all, we are very close to being done. Very close to being done. All right, and then we're gonna put this on here. I'm just gonna put that there. And, oh, y'all, I did not tell y'all, and I meant to tell y'all on Friday. So if you, have been with me for a while. You know that my Publix closed down for renovation. And I was so sad. I've been so sad about it. I have not been going to the grocery store and the Publix was closed down for about a year now, y'all. For about a year. Well, guess what? My Publix is back open, y'all, and it's better than ever. And I went into the Publix, I went last week to the Publix because um, they had their grand opening and y'all, it was grand. It was, it was amazing. If you guys don't know, Publix is a supermarket. They have it, it's mostly in the South, I think. Um, I don't know if they have any Publix. Yo, do they have any Publix supermarkets? Like if you guys are not like in Georgia or Florida, like in Florida, we don't have any like Kroger's or anything like that or Wegmans. Um, but Publix, I love Publix. And a lot of my kids end up getting jobs at Publix because Publix, um, Publix actually hires a lot of individuals with disabilities, a lot. That's another reason why I like Publix. I know, you know, sometimes they don't have a good reputation, but they hire uh, a lot of people with disabilities and they hire a lot of my kids at one time um we would we used to go into Publix like you know the school the kids in school and we would go and then they would kind of get like a lot of uh training in Publix and how to do different things there in Publix but they are open now y'all they are better than ever it's super big. I think we have like the biggest Publix now in the county. Mind you, I live by like five or six Publixes are very close by me. It's not like that's the only Publix, but that's the only Publix that I actually like. I love that Publix. But y'all, I went in the seafood section to go see if my girl was there and she wasn't there. So I don't know. I, I thought she was going to come back. She's older. She's an older lady. So I don't know if she maybe she decided to retire when they closed down. But I went by to see y'all and it was so crowded. I almost walked out. Y'all know my anxiety be kicking in. So I told my friend, I'm like, I think that's why I'm getting sick. Because I think because I walked into that Publix and now y'all, you, you got to push those thoughts aside. But it's probably it. But I went in there and I went to go see her to see if she was back. And she was not even... She wasn't there. So I don't know. 
All right, y'all. So this is pretty much the bottom part of the cap. And so the cap is going to go, y'all, we're almost done. It's that easy. These are really easy to make. And if you have the right glue, it's even better. But y'all, my Publix, oh, y'all, I'm so happy. And so you like, you can go to Whole Foods or you can go to, we still have a few in Dixie. Do you guys still have one Dixie? Where you, I know this is so random, the stuff that we're talking about, but y'all, this is the type of night that we're having. Y'all see, I don't really even feel all that great. Yes, Eve, Publix for the win. The Pune Pod. Oh, I got to see that. I want to see how how it works. Can you keep us posted, please, Harris family? Y'all, Publix, yes, Eve. If y'all don't know about Publix, Publix and their customer service is amazing. Customer service always wins me. All right, y'all, so it cut a little X here so that I'll know where to put um, the tassel. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I know we use, this is black and we use that silver gel pen, but there is a hexagon here. You guys can't, oh, you, so, okay, good. You can kind of see it. There's a hexagon there. So I am going to match this up just to make sure and it's matching and then I'm going to glue it down. But y'all, Pub oh no, Joanne, Publix is life. Yes, the Londa, they're Everything, oh, y'all, y'all know another reason why I love Publix? So before there was a Dunkin' Sweet Tea love affair, I loved Publix Sweet Tea. Publix has good sweet tea. They have good blackberry lemonade. They have good everything. But I did not like to go into the Publix, into any other Publix except my Publix. My Publix is superb. And y'all, guess what? They have a Starbucks inside of it now. So y'all, it, it it does it did not it, it it doesn't get better than this. This is like the best Publix ever. So they're back open, y'all, and now I can resume grocery shopping. I just want to know where my um where my helper inside of the seafood section is. Like, did she retire? What happened to her? Cause she's always so helpful. All right, y'all, so I'm just matching this up to the inside. And I glued around there. And then I'm just going to glue this down now. Publix is expensive. So y'all, okay, so I used to like do a lot of couponing too. But Publix was the best, y'all. Publix is the best. But Publix can be a little bit expensive. They can. They can. Now I'm just pressing this down just to get it on there. And their subs. Mm. When my friends go, like, you know, my, my other kids, they go on CBI, which is like community-based instruction, and they go to Publix sometimes to do, like, their grocery shopping for the classroom because... We get um, money to spend in the classroom for like food and snacks and to do different activities with our kids. Y'all, when they go to Publix, I'm like, okay, who's going to Publix? Can you bring me some tuna? Their tuna fish is so good. Needless to say, I'm happy. And I can't believe that I forgot to tell y'all last week about my Publix reopening. Yes, my Publix is amazing. It, it just opened up here as family. I'm going to send you, I'm going to email you the one that I love going to. My favorite. Even my kids, y'all, my kids knew. My kids know how much I did not like going to the grocery store. So when my Publix opened, I told them. So now they're, they're so happy because now they know like, okay, she's going to get some, some snacks. All right. So this is the top. And so you kind of don't want, you see what this type of glue does to it? It kind of, you don't really want that glue. So if you have um, double-sided adhesive or double-sided uh, tape, I put that there instead of the glue. Because you see how that looks like lumpy? But you can definitely like do your own like topper. I think a topper on top would be cute. You could put like a piece of sticker, like print out, um, 
sticker, do a print and cut, or just print out a square image that would go on the inside and place that on top. That would look nice too. Oh, Delonda, this is a lot easier. It is. So I'm just going to take where that X is. I'm going to put a little bit of glue there to first apply the tassel. And then you position it however you want to position it. I don't even know where my, yo, know, I probably have like 20 pairs of tweezers. And guess what? I could not find one pair. That's why I, I, it took me so long to come on. Just a mess. Just the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> the Piggly Wiggly. Don't they have Piggly Wigglies in Georgia? I think I saw Piggly Wiggly in Georgia. I think you guys have Piggly Wigglies in Georgia. Oh, but you know who else is good with other grocery stores? Do they still have Wegmans in like... Um, I haven't been to Wegmans in like New York City. But in like Buffalo area, they had this uh, grocery store called Wegmans. Y'all... I loved Wegmans too. Their their fruit was so good. So good. So I'm just gonna push, I put like the little dot on the top, that circle. And then I'm just pushing it, pressing it down. Thank you. Look at you, Lakeisha. Thank you, Dempsey. Girl, why you just didn't text it to me? You know I have. My anxiety for messages have been really, really bad lately for everything. Like, I'm just, I don't know. This is a mess. All right, so now we're going to get ready to put the base on. And so this is the base. This little one, we don't, like, need this for anything. Okay? So the smaller one, you don't need it for anything unless you find something else to do with it. But we're not. So now I'm going to just go ahead and... Crease these for that score line cut. There's a Wegman, Wegmans in White Plains, New York. Oh my goodness, I love that Wegmans fruit. I used to go to um, Buffalo often. Oh, and I fell in love with Wegmans. Y'all, I like grocery stores, depending on the grocery store. But their fruit, oh my goodness, it was so good. So this part right here is going to go on like the same way that the other, uh-oh, did I put this on part? Yeah. So it's going to go on the same way, just like this. So this is cardstock. This is, uh, I think, 65-pound cardstock. Hold on, y'all. I need a paper towel. Hold on. So this is cardstock. I think it's 65, maybe 65 or 80 pounds. I'm not sure because um, I just pulled this cardstock from anywhere and I did not look at the packaging. Sorry. But maybe 20. I would suggest using, I would suggest using at least the 80, the medium cardstock for these. And if you want to make it last longer, you can possibly like cut another base out of um, a thicker material, maybe craft board, and that would make the base a little bit sturdier. So yeah. All right, let's keep going. Oh, Aldi. There's a lot of Aldi. My friend loves Aldi. So I didn't know about Aldi. Well, Maybe about six years ago, um, a teacher friend would always bring like these uh, peanut butter pretzels. You know, the pretzels that are filled with peanut butter? She would always bring them to work and they were so good and she would always share. And then she was like, oh, I got these from Aldi's. And I was like, where's Aldi's? Well, pretty legit. Aldi sells a lot of things, though, if you guys don't know what Aldi's is or... You've never heard of Aldi's. They sell a lot of things. And more and more are popping up now. 
No, I think this is 65 pounds. I don't think this is 85 pounds. Yeah, Joanne, use 80 plus, don't you? Or Joanne says she uses 110. This, I just pulled this from someplace. It's not thick. It's not the thicker one. Oh, yes, our Publix delivers too. Well, you, we do, they have Instacart. Maria, yes, girl. I love, I loved Wegmans when I went there. I said I was just going to go back just to go to um, Wegmans. Their food was really good and fresh too. So, uh oh, I should have put, I meant to put some glue here. Their, their food was really, really good and fresh. Oh, y'all look, I did not mean to touch that. They are, yes, those, those, Eve, you're talking about the peanut butter pretzels? Oh my goodness. She had me going to Aldi's just for those pretzels. And then I discovered that Publix has them too. And they're, uh, it's, it's in the deli that they sell like the same thing. And then I was just like, oh, my Publix sells it. Never mind. But they were so good from all they are. They're but they're good in general, but I had never taken, that's how I, I knew about Aldi. But Aldi sells a lot of different things. Like they don't just sell um, grocery. They sell a lot of different things too in Aldi. And their prices are reasonable. But y'all, I can't, I can't do anything outside of Publix. Sometimes Whole Foods, I can go to Whole Foods sometimes. But Publix. And Whole Foods switched up. They used to have like this really, really good smoothie that I would get before. Um, well, actually, I used to get it when I would take Taylor to school. And then I would go by there and get it. But then they stopped selling it. The green, was it the Green Dream? or the? It wasn't the Green Machine. But I think that's the other smoothie company. I think it was the Green Dream. It was so good. Mrs. Harris said, yeah, they still have Piggly. I know. That's where I remember seeing Piggly Wiggly. Oh, yeah. No, no. The Aldi's aren't that big. Well, we have a few Aldi. Y'all know I'm in South Florida, so we kind of have like a, a few different. Uh, we have a lot of Aldi's here. But they... um. They're not really, really big. I have seen a larger uh, Aldi here, but they're not they're not overly big. They're not like a regular like supermarket store, but they sell different things, you know. So I keep touching and I can't don't want to. Actually, it's hot, heavy feel. So. Mm-hmm. So T Town shirts, let me tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I love the X tool. I love it. Um, it's really, really easy to use. The software that comes with it is a, um, and I actually have a video that I'm supposed to be doing um, soon because they sent me the new rotary attachment. And so if y'all you saw that video I did with the unboxing of it, the rotary that I had, I kind of complained about the because the, the cup was tapered, and so it kind of fell off a little bit. The engraving wasn't uh, even. And so now with this new rotary attachment, it's like a four-in-one rotary, um, it solves the problem. It solves the problem for that, and you can just do, like, so many other things with the rotary attachment. It's really, really easy to use, but you have to have um, a ventilated area because it is so open and it can smell. So I have my mask, uh, I have my glasses and you may wanna invest in a better set of, they send you a set of uh, glasses, but you may wanna invest in a better pair um, just because, you know, those are your eyes and you gotta protect them. 
but I absolutely love it. It's really, really easy to use. The software, they have a software uh, laser box that comes with it, but it is a very basic generic type of uh, software. You can get light burn, uh, light burn. There is a fee for light burn. You get like a 30 day trial with it, but there is a fee um, after that. And yeah, also it can cut some acrylic um, they also have a 20 watt laser coming out, but that is going to be an additional fee. Like, I don't think that it's, that they're automatically including it with the X tool. I think that it's going to come with the 10 watt, but we'll see. Um, but they do have a 20 watt coming out. So certain acrylics, it can't cut like the transparent acrylics. It doesn't cut well, well, it doesn't cut. So I kind of showed a little bit there. I think last week I kind of talked about it a little bit. But it cuts colored acrylic. So, you know, if it's like a solid color, you're perfectly fine with cutting it. And somebody else told me a material that I used. They kind of gave me some tips underneath the video to try something else. So, y'all, I love when you guys give me suggestions. I'm not a person that cannot take suggestions or tips. Um, we all learn from each other. And so I love when you guys give me suggestions, give me ideas, or, you know, tell me other ways that could possibly work because I will try them out. I will. So, yeah, but I think it's definitely worth it. Look, it's still, it's still right here. I haven't put it up. I still use it. I just haven't used it. Um, I, I didn't do it tonight because I have the uh, form run rotary. It's like the RA2 Pro that they call it. I have that like over there in the middle and I haven't did anything yet because I, I wanted to get some other uh, items that I could use with it and not just tumblers. Well, I feel like I'm getting sicker by the second. I may have to call out of work tomorrow because my nose is running. This is my nose running. All right, let's see. So this is drying. See how that's coming? And y'all, you'd probably be done quicker than me. So don't think that, you know. I'm gonna do this one just the wrong way. Hey, Mary or Zach. Girl, Mary, a lot of people are not getting the notifications. I don't know what's going on with the tube, but girl, we just trucking along. It's okay. Why did I do this this way, y'all? It's okay. We're just going with the flow. Because a lot of people are saying that I don't even get all the notifications. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think tomorrow, tomorrow may be a rest day for me, y'all. No, YouTube does. YouTube is a hot mess. They do. I don't get notifications. And then I have some people who are like, after the live is done, then they get a notification. They're like, I just got a notification. Like, they'll leave a message for me. Like, I just got a notification. And it's done. YouTube needs to do better. YouTube needs to do better. They really do. All right, so we're almost done by 8.30 because this is not going to take much longer. We have one more piece to put together. And y'all, there's so many different things. You can customize this in so many different ways. So I did it this. You don't have to use a black, um, black cap. You can do whatever color. So if there's a certain school... Uh, that you want to use college or high school like certain colors use that color card stock or you can print out um your card stock my card stock can go through my printer 
if it's a 12 by 12 or an eight and a half by 11, you can do that. So you are not limited to just this. So if we, if we get to make the baseball cap, then I'll show you guys some other things. If we could, we're not doing that tonight, y'all. The home call is tired. Well, I need to sleep. I don't know what to wait until the time comes out. I don't need the better rotary. I don't think the better rotary is going to come with them. I think they're still doing it like separate. It comes with the regular rotary. It looks almost the same, but it's actually longer. And you can pretty much take it apart. So with that second rotary, you have to kind of like take it apart. The RA2 Pro, you have to take it apart and put it together, you know, like just for the different functions. But it's worth it. And I'm going to do a video so you can see it. I actually already started the video, but I'm waiting on some stuff to come. And I bought this uh, these sheets so that... I can engrave on the glass because I had a, quite a few people asking me about engraving on glass. And so I have, um, I bought like a few different products to use with the glass to make engraving on it easier or more noticeable or workable. Uh -oh. So that's the plan. All right, y'all. So I should wait till this dries a little bit. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Like, really, typically, y'all, I would wait for it to dry before I actually try to move some of this stuff because it's still wet. But, like this one right here, it is still, it's not pushed in all the way, but it's okay. No problem. I have time to fix anyone. This one, so I'm gonna show Mary um, engraving with the the X tool rotary. All right. Hey, Beverly. Let's see, you can create it. Yeah, I haven't been getting my notifications at all. At all. All right, y'all. So we are pretty much done. This is drying a bit. And so as you guys see, what I want to see. Don't want to... Would you see Miss Tracy the Publix? You were in Florida. How is Jacksonville? Miss Tracy, I like Jacksonville. I should have told you. There's this restaurant that I'd like to go to in Jacksonville. They sell like soul food. It's, I think it's the Tarnish House Bistro. The last time I was in Jacksonville last year, I made sure I stopped by there. But it's called the Tarnish House Bistro. They have two locations. And one of the locations I think is better than the other one. I've been to both. And one I think is better than the other one. So ideally you want this to kind of dry. And this is what I said like about the bottom. This is how the bottom looks. Now, if you cut out another hexagon, that shape um, on the inside, like maybe in, out of craft board or something like that, something a little more sturdy, you could totally, good night, Joanne. Joanne, I'm, I think I'm gonna be ready to open this serger over the summer. I think I'm gonna be ready over the summer. But you could put like another harder piece, even if you're using like a harder cardstock, like the 110 pound or the 80 pound, you could definitely put, I would put maybe a piece of a craft board just to make it a little harder and a little more sturdy. So that's what I would suggest doing. Dips, girl, I love the Potter's House Bistro. I'm about to make me take a trip up there just to go get me a plate 
get me some mac and cheese and cabbage. I like their cabbage and mac and cheese. Y'all know I don't eat uh, like all the meat, but all right. So this looks good. I knew I wanted to be done by 8.30. <clears throat> yeah, it's time for me to go to bed. Now look, y'all. So you're just going to put this on top. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, I'm getting sick. And look. Y'all, we are going to be done for tonight. Because I just had like a coughing spell. But we're all done. So perfect timing. We made 8.30 and I'm about to go rest. Thanks, Dempsey. I could feel it. But we're all good. Looks cute. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Your girl about to go. <laughs> I just took like I just went downhill, downhill really, really quick. Look, y'all. I just went downhill really, really quick. But recap, this is what we have. So if you use like a thinner glue, you won't get like those glue stains. I wasn't really careful, but this is what we have. All right, y'all. It's been fun. You girl gotta go. I love y'all and maybe I'll see y'all on Friday. Hopefully I feel better by then. <sighs> Hopefully. But I love y'all. Dims, I see your good night in all caps. I see it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I love y'all.